playing piano from an early age for me was like learning this set of rules and these building blocks. Because I had these rules, I could break them because I knew these places to go and these limitations, I could push beyond them. I'm hugely inspired by sounds, especially if they're unique kind of sounds. I love the character that you can get from old gear. If one of the keys doesn't work and it gets stuck, that'll probably sound awesome and we'll probably sample it and build a whole song around it. I'm always collecting lyrics, whether it's in my phone or a little notebook. These people met in a hotel. They hadn't seen each other for 10 years. Her perfume smelled like this, you know, like some small weird thing. I'm very like receptive to my environment and what you put in me will literally come out. And I think that's where some of the most, you know, powerful and genuine songs can come from actually, when you just are being receptive to how you're feeling and channeling that in a very honest way. I have a song called Shake that I wrote uh, the day after the London riots. It was a really scary time, actually. Windows were getting smashed up. You could just feel going to bed that night, like the whole city kind of shaking. This energy just came out straight away in the studio in a song. If you can deliver a perfect pop song in this like great, very palatable package, but actually get something, sneak something kind of weird in there, then it's like the holy grail for me.